Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to edit product. So let's see how can we edit the product. So first of all, uh, let's create a new live wire component. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new live wire component, type here the command php artisan make colon live wire space uh, directory name admin slash component name uh, let's say component name is admin edit product component all right you now press enter component created now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for this component so just go inside the route directory and open web.php file and inside this file uh, just go inside the admin middleware group the route group and after this route uh, let's create a new route a route get and add here the URI admin slash product slash edit and pass here one argument which is parameter which is product underscore slug all right and now add here the component class name which is admin edit product component then colon colon class and give here the route name admin dot edit product all right and now save this file and now open the admin edit product component class file so for that just go inside the app directory in http livewire admin and from here just open admin edit product component dot php file all right and inside this file uh, first of all let's layout add here uh, layout so just write here arrow layout and inside this layout add here the layout directory name layouts dot layout name which is base okay and now open the admin add product component view file okay so uh, go inside the resources directory views live wire admin and from here just open admin uh, add product component dot blade dot php file right and now uh, from this file select all the text and copy and now go to the admin edit product component dot blade dot php file and here select all the text and paste here okay and now make some changes inside this file so first of all change the title here edit product and uh, inside the submit button change here the text update okay all right now save this file and now uh, open the admin add product component class file okay this file uh, admin add product component dot php file and from here just copy all the properties okay just copy and now go to the admin edit uh, admin edit product this one okay and inside this file just paste here the property and uh, create one more property for the new image public dollar new image and one more product uh, property for the product id public dollar product underscore id okay and now let's create the uh, lifecycle hook method mount okay so for that just write your public function and function name mount and inside this mount function uh, let's pass one argument which is product underscore slug all right and inside this function uh, let's fetch the product by product slug so create a variable here product is equal to model name product where slug 
and uh, just write here the parameter dollar product underscore slug okay and now just call here the first function all right okay and now just copy this all property and paste here uh, select this and press tab and now select all the public okay and now add here dollar this arrow and go to the int and uh, write here equal dollar product arrow and uh, right here just copy this name and paste here slug sort description description regular price sale price and uh, sku stock status featured quantity email and degree id okay and just remove this new image and uh, for product id right here id all right and after this mount method uh, let's create a function for generating the slug so for that just write here public function and function name uh, generate slug Uh, this function name generate slug so just copy and paste here and inside this just write here dollar this arrow slug is equal to str colon colon call the slug method and inside this pass here the product name all right and also add here the separator dash all right and now just import the str so here just try to use illuminate support and slash str all right okay now let's create a function for update record so let's write here public function and function name let's say function name is update update product okay and now uh, create a, a variable product is equal to model name product and just call here the find method and inside this just pass here the id dollar this arrow product underscore id okay and now just uh, go to the admin add product component class file and uh, from here from the add product method just copy from here to here also copy this message just copy and uh, paste after this okay and uh, just import the carbon so here we try to use carbon uh, slash carbon okay and also import here use live wire with file upload so right here live live wire slash with file uploads okay and inside this class you just use here use with file upload all right now inside this update product method function uh, before this image name uh, just add here the if statement uh, if color uh, this arrow new image <coughs> then uh, just execute this these lines so just cut and paste inside the if statement all right and also change here uh, copy this new image and change here the name new image new image and also change here new image okay now it's good and also change here the message product has been 
updated all right now save this file and now just copy this function name and go to the admin edit product component or .php file and inside the form submit section uh, just change here the function name update product okay all right and now inside the image uploads uh, here product image uh, before this uh, inside this if directive just add here image new image okay this one this property name your new image so just paste here also change here new image and after this just add here the else part else img src is equal to if not new image selected then just upload the uh, just view the image from the database okay so uh, add here the directory name asset assets slash images slash products okay and after this curly bracket uh, just write here dollar image okay and also add here the width 120 pixel and now just close this image all right okay now save this file and now it's done one more thing uh, let's add the link inside the admin product table okay so just open the admin product component or php file and inside the table uh, inside this table uh, let's create a link so right here anchor tag href is equal to route uh, first add double curly bracket okay then route and inside this route uh, just add here this one admin dot edit product okay and just paste here and also pass here the product slug product underscore slug and add here the arrow dollar product arrow slug okay and now just close this anchor tag and uh, inside the anchor tag add here the font awesome icon okay so right here i tag class is equal to fa fa edit all right and also increase the font size of fa so right here fa dash 2x right and also change here the you know, text color so right here text dash info all right and now just close the i tag okay now it's done so let's check this so save this file and uh, First of all, run the application. So switch to the command prompt and uh, type here the command php artisan third. All right. And now switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Okay. And now let's edit any one product. I'm just going to edit uh, this product. Okay. So just click on this okay here is the error categories so first uh, fetch the categories inside the uh, admin edit product component class file so let's go to the class file uh, inside this class file and uh, inside the render method just write here dollar categories okay is equal to category colon colon all all right and now just return inside this view to add a big bracket categories arrow dollar categories okay now save this file and let's check again so switch to the browser and refresh the page all right now change uh change the product details so i'm just going to write here or it and i'm just going to write here three all right and inside the sort description right here the three 
3 all right and also change the price uh, let's say 150 okay the status in stock number of quantity let's say 100 and also change the product image so just click on browse and this time i'm just going to select this one okay product is not showing so let's check this let's switch to the project and uh, inside the view uh, file assets images product let us go all right uh, let's change here the uh, this name uh, just add here the new image okay binding with this property new image all right and now save this file and let's check again so switch to the browser and replace the page okay and now change here the product name let's say three also change here three in description and the price uh, let's say 150 stock 100 and change the product image Okay, you can see here the new image. All right, and now just click on update, and you can see here product has been updated successfully. All right, now let's check this. So just click on all product. Click on next, next, and here you can see the product has been updated. Okay, so. In this way you can update the product in next video we will see how can we delete the product so that's all about added product so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching